Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie here, and I'm here with something different. Uh, Super Mario Bros. 2, but that's not it. It's not the only thing that's different. Um, I'm gonna do what my brother did, and if you don't follow my brother's YouTube, you should check it out. It's, I think it's an X. I'll link it in the description. But he did an end, um, end of the year video where he played a game and then talked about his end of the year, so I'm gonna do the same. He did Sonic, so I'm gonna do the exact opposite, which is Mario, and he picked one of his favorite Sonic games, and I picked one of my, my I think my actually absolute favorite uh, Mario game of the platforming genre anyway. Um, once we get into RPG, JRPGs and stuff, it's a little bit of a different story. And just like him, I'm gonna try playing and also talking about my year. Um, so let's get into it, huh? All right, let me see. Well, first of all, uh, I'm gonna go with Peach. Peach is my main in this game, as I say, as I play terribly. Fun fact, one time I rec recorded a video with Jace of the Mew Mew Force, um, based around, oh, I screwed up that, I screwed that up pretty bad, I could've gotten more coins. Based around this game of if I could beat it in an hour or not. You know, not the craziest speedrun, like people have better at this game a whole bunch and, um, I just, I could just beat it pretty quickly, I think, using all the skips and stuff. I just know how to beat it fairly fast, so I'm not gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna do a full run through of every level, because that would take forever. Anyway, 2019, that's the year that's ending. It's a whole decade ending, man. So that means at the start of 2010 till 2019. Well, today's video, I think I'll just talk about uh, 2019. Uh, I can say for kind of a fact, it's been a rough ass end of the year, end of the decade for sure. If you were to tell me at the start of the decade, by the end of it, so many people in my life would be gone. And also, um, I wouldn't even have a house anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't have people in my life and I wouldn't have a house anymore. I would have told you, that's a lie. And let me tell you, it was unfortunately true. So, um, still working on that front. And by me working, I mean the diligent people in my house who know how to get a new house is doing it better. I really need to start. If there's one thing I need to do into 2020. So here's something that you're gonna, I'm gonna reveal a little bit about me. Oh, come on. I think I can make it in there. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh God. Oh, uh, my bad. And that was a skip to the to this boss right here. Uh, I don't know how to drive. Uh, no, that's a lie. I do know how to drive. I just never got my license because I failed the test once and I never did it again. So I need to, you know, either early early 2020, I need to get, you know, I need to get a lot of my life straight, starting with that driver's license for sure. You know, a lot of people make New Year's resolutions and... I don't think I really am the person to make them, because in the back of my mind I say I want to do this and then I just do it. That's just the kind of guy I end up being, just because if I try and tell me like, well, I kind of want to do this, then I just never end up doing it. But spending this year in this house has definitely been really tough in a lot of ways, in morale, in... If it was not for my family, if it was not for my brother and my sister and my mother and my father as well and a whole bunch of other family members, I don't think I would have been able to... Yeah, I don't know how I'm not breaking down, honestly. Uh, that's how it kind of feels like sometimes. And of course, I've also had, you know, good buddies here and there to talk to and stuff. But not... I'm, I'm weird when it comes to stuff like that, though. Like, what I consider to be a friend is someone who's you know, kind of just there. Like, it's funny because um, seeing all the anime where it's like all the, the very tough boys are like, we're in this together forever, best friends. You know, Jotaro, give me a hug, brother. That's not really the way I see things. It's not that I don't like talking to my friends. I love talking to my friends. I love talking to Mimi Horse. I love talking to Zenron. I like to talk to any of my friends that will listen to me. Um, it, but it's more that the way I handle emotion with people is weird in that so for example let's say you have a friend um and you haven't talked to them since i don't know uh let's say elementary school <laughs> would you consider them your friend anymore the answer is usually no because your your life has moved on and you don't talk to that person anymore so there's really no oh i could have easily skipped all of this I'm so dumb. I'm going here. I need to still play this game good. 
even if I'm talking over it. Nope. There we go. Thank you. All right. Now we skip that entire uh, sub basement. Uh, did you see me iframe that? Ah, uh, no. I'm gonna die here. Oh, I'm gonna die like a damn idiot. Ah, damn it. Damn it. Anyway. Um, like I was saying, usually when you talk to someone, like, um, and it's been a very long time, you don't consider them friends, like, I guess that's something people, I guess people do a lot, where it's like, you know, you're my friend, but what have you done for me lately? I don't really think that way. The more way I think is that you helped me out, we don't talk that much, but that doesn't change anything. <laughs> it's kind of like, um, not a life debt, but it's kind of definitely like, I never forget any feelings that I have towards a person, and that actually ends up kind of biting me in the ass, because it's definitely been a thing of like, for example, any girl that I've ever liked, for example, let's just throw it out there, um, if I like them once, I can't stop liking them. That's just the way my brain works, is that I constantly think about them, but I only think about them because that was the feeling I had for them at one point. So similar to friends, I constantly think about my friends, um, even if we don't talk that much. So if you ever see me like, and I also just never say it too. I, maybe I should get better at saying it. Maybe it's like this fake bullshit machismo. But anyway, how did I get into this? Anyway, I was able to be helped through a lot this year talking to people like um, Mimu Force, my good buddies at the, the Trash Alliance co-founder, Lerp and Neb. You know, we like to talk and they're very good friends of mine. I can't really think of like two better dudes to just like be able to talk in a way that's like different from what the way I talk to other people and a lot of that has to help with like being in the internet and people will tell you to your face like oh internet friends aren't real friends and I'll tell you that's a goddamn lie they can that they can definitely you can definitely act different from the way you act with everyone else because the way you act with everyone else that's the way you're expected to act you know um, so with all that said and done, they really helped me out this year, and for 2020, I really want to learn how to drive, and get more money, and, you know, I want to do more with my life, you know, the whole, the whole decade thing really fucks me up in terms of, like, thinking, like, where did I see myself at the beginning of the decade, and the answer is nowhere, and here I am at the end of the decade, and I'm, I'm not nowhere, to be fair. I made a lot of good people, I made a lot of good friends. I like my job as much as it fucks me over every other day. I like doing this, specifically. If there was a way for me to do my job and also make money off of YouTube, I think I would be the happiest person in the world. Of course, there's also other, you know, projects I want to work on. It's hard. You know, I met Mimu Force, for example, um, because we were all good art friends. That's a dumb thing to say. We met at, at our art college, um, and so I, I have an artist background in me, and I can draw. I'm just not very good at it. I just need more practice at it. Um, and I've been using the excuse of, like, I have a tablet finally because Jace hooked me up with one, and I want to draw more, but then I only see the limitations of the drawing. Like, oh, I can't, I can't draw that well because the current like space I am so I make excuses for myself but I really don't want to make any more excuses like for that terrible jump I just did I don't want to make an excuse for it oh god doop, doop. now here's the thing I don't remember where this one is so we're just gonna very slowly crawl doop, 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 doop. I think it's here I don't think it's here actually I've already- oh, no, it is here. Bitchin'. Thank you. Um, so yeah, learn to drive. Not learn how to drive, I gotta stop saying that. I don't know why I'm trying to save face over this, but basically I need to get my license, and then once I know how to drive and stuff, um, once I have- once the state of California looks me in the eye and say, this guy's good to drive, I will, um, you know, do something more, you know? be able to make more money because I can stay at work longer. Right now I'm helped out by um, good friends uh, who drive me to work and I pay them for helping me a whole bunch on that end. But And as much as I love talking to them for real, they're, <laughs> they're great dudes. Um, well, one lady and one dude, whatever. Dude, dude is uh, gender fluid. Anyone can be a dude. Oh yeah, I forgot I can do this. Check this out. Me. All will bow down to Peach and her, frankly OP, 
jumping ability. This one thing was enough to give Peach personality for days. Oh man, I'm real dumb dumb, but I'm gonna do it. I need the extra health, I think. There it is. Okay. Oh. I guess I'm not a dumb dumb. My bad. So yeah, 2019. It's, um, all I'm talking about is like plans for the future, but for as it is right now, I really like where my channel's going. I finally was able to beat a thousand subscribers, which is amazing. Um, considering all the circumstances I have around recording, over the fact that I don't, I like the fact that I think every single person will tell you who actually does YouTube for a living will tell you focus on a single game, because if you try and divide your focus, you just don't get as much people as you normally do. Um, and I like playing different games. I like the fact that I can play a gotcha and then I can also play a game like this. Um, I think that's fun. And being unable to do it would be kind of boring to me, but I guess that's also what Twitch is for, you know, if I wanted to be real with it. Um, and chances are if I, when we get our house and I have my own room again, that's how I'm gonna divide it up is that I'll put Twitch, um, archives up of my streams of games like this, but I'll keep mobile games, you know, stuff like Dragalia. Um, even though nobody watches them, the Bounty Rush videos, because I love making Bounty Rush videos. <laughs> uh, I'm actually kind of angry, not angry, I'm fake angry that d doesn't upload more um, Bounty Rush videos, because those are my favorite videos of his. If I were to rank the d content, by the way, I would go um, Bounty Rush at number one, number two, Dragon Ball Legends, funny enough. Um, he recently asked, which style do you prefer, um, um, commentated or, um, more analytical? And I'm getting used to the analytical style, but I really prefer, like, his raw reactions, because it's really funny to see him lose to a Rising Rush. Um, don't tell him I said that. Be please. Uh, if you have personal contact to D-Free, or if d is watching this, D-Free's not watching this. That's the name of this title of this video is... Wookie's end of the year video wrap up. Don't watch this, d free. I'm not gonna do that because I'd be stupid. But anyway, um, whales. Hello, whale. Um, oh god, I almost died. Uh, yeah, 2019. It's been a hard year, full of just like personal loss. Uh, you know. There's nothing more I can say than that, really. I lost too many people, too many people I would want in my life, too many people that I made, we made promises to one day, and it kills me on the inside. It's gonna kill me till the, the day I die, I'm gonna assume, until the day we get our house again, is that we promised that we would all one day again uh, live under the same roof, and we never unfortunately got to um, get that far, but. <sighs> That's life, right? We gotta keep moving forward, though. You can only move forward. You can, You only. You gotta go to World Six, because if you if you stop at World Six, it all goes downhill from there. Um, I'll continue this in another um, video because I feel like I'm already kind of getting not rambly. Rambly is the wrong word. I think I'm getting. I think we're, I'm close to beating the game, actually. No, I'm not. Uh, but I like to divide them into chunks. I'm not like my brother who does full hour-long playthroughs. I don't got that kind of time. Uh, just kidding. He had, oh, he also has bad time. That The chicken, not the chicken, the rooster calling. Anyway, that's kind of the start of my 2019. Uh, I'll get more into it in the next video and stuff like that. Talk about more things, end of the decade things. Um, kind of the weird, sh kind of like trajectory of my life has taken in like 20 times. I think that would be interesting. Um, and even if uh, nobody watches, it'll be fine, because I know there's at least 10 people who will watch this, and those 10 people will leave a like. Not 10 is generous, there's at least 5 people who will watch this. <laughs> anyway, thank you for, if you made it this far, hearing me uh, play Mario Brothers 2 while also talking about some 2019 stuff. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.